a special evening in Salt Lake City tonight. The Olympic Cauldron at Rice Eccles Stadium has been relit. This is to celebrate 20 years since the opening ceremony from the Games held back in 2002. Fox 13 News reporter Brian Schnee was at that ceremony and spoke with Olympians who are trying to get those games to come back to Utah. He joins us live tonight. Brian. 20 years from the day where all eyes from all across the world were zeroed in on Rice Eccles Stadium in Salt Lake City. Now tonight, the Olympic cauldron is burning bright once again. Yeah! Cheers celebrating a milestone in Utah's Olympic history. I would love the games to come back to Utah. Olympians like Derek Para in attendance, not only reflecting on 20 years ago when Derek won gold in the 1500 meter skate, but what it would mean to his students today that take the ice. Seeing the kids come in, they don't, they don't know what it's like, and they weren't even born. And to, to come back here and feel that spirit and the energy that was here uh, in 2002, and I know it would be even greater here now. Fellow Olympic speed skater Catherine Rainey Norman is one of the people actively trying to bring the games back to Utah, working with the International Olympic Committee. We're hopeful in the coming months we'll have uh, greater conversations and, and in-depth negotiations with them. Utah Governor Spencer Cox, a curling fan himself, says it's only a matter of time before the games return to the Beehive State. We will get it again. I, I have no doubt about that. I mean, the IOC has been very clear. We, we have all of the venues. Um, we fit what the Olympic movement is all about going forward. And so we feel very confident. A night of celebration, giving some renewed hope that the games will come back. Well, for Utah, it's really an opportunity to give back. Because the Olympic movement did so much for us. But then also we have a new generation here that never experienced the games. I want my grandkids to go to the events and see the unity and solidarity and the volunteerism that came from the games. That would be wonderful to see again. Well, if you're not out here tonight, maybe with your family taking some photos, kind of soaking in this moment from a special ceremony this afternoon, not to worry, the cauldron will be lit up until the 12th. Now, many people I spoke to today say that if the games come back to Utah and when they come back to Utah, maybe 2030 or 2034, it'll unofficially be a way for Utah to give back for all that they've gained here in the state from the O2 games. Live in Salt Lake City tonight, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah. I gained a lot. Brian, thanks so much. On the Utah House floor today, a resolution to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the 2002 Winter Olympics. 20 years ago today, <clears throat> President George W. Bush opened the 19th Olympiad. The cauldron was lit by members of the 1980 Miracle on Ice team, led by Captain Mike Ruzioni. And the world turned its attention to our great state with 2,400 athletes competing from 78 different nations in our Olympics. The resolution passed unanimously. Utah is currently bidding, as Brian said, to host the 2030 or 2034 Winter Olympics. Fox 13 News wants to hear from you about whether you want a Winter Olympics to return to Utah. We posted this poll on Twitter about two hours ago. So far, 70% of the people surveyed say yes, 30% say no. If you want to weigh in, you have until just before 7 p.m. tomorrow to vote on the Fox 13 Twitter page.